welcome back to all age x guys and where we had left off in the last tutorial was that we had this replace this get data function with a weather params object and the object in turn is just placed in the properties object out here and one thing to note about this thing is that in place of value we have a function which in turn returns the uh, which in turn returns an object containing a queue and the count parameters which are required for the data fetching part so in case you don't know what I'm talking about guys just reference to the last tutorial and you, you will get an idea what we are talking about out here and now all we have to do is that on this button press of search the uh, we have to program the app such that the iron ajax element would go on and fetch the data as soon as we press the search button out here and then this uh, update the data on onto the weather app so currently what we are left with is that we are fixed with this london thing uh, with this london city name and what we are now trying to do is this is that we'll try to update the city name dynamically so 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 to call the iron ajax element from the javascript function so as to go ahead and do the call again we we'll first have to give it a id property so i'll just type in weather ajax okay i'll just type in weather id is equal to weather and now we have to get the data and get this input uh, reference this input element in the javascript so we'll type in document dot get element by id and just type in weather for beginners if you don't know what this all get element by id and these things do so you must first go on to do some javascript tutorials uh, and then come back to this and so now we'll just type in generate request The generate request cache is actually a polymer function which goes on to tell the iron ajax input element out, uh, iron ajax element out here to do an ajax call once again so everything is refer referenced so let's see what happens now okay so now we are here and i'll first clear out the net all the ne network activities that had been going on okay so now if we uh, click on search button out here the ajax ajax function should be called and we should see a network activity going on so let's click the button okay so as soon as as soon as i click the button the iron ajax element was fired again so if we just click again ag again and again you see that the iron ajax is called again and again okay so we'll clear all this mess again and just click it here okay so now if you, if i just zoom in just make this thing bigger okay guys so now you can clearly see is that once we have zoomed zoomed in and the city is still london and the count is still 7 though we can generate the request on a, on the button click also from now on okay so now all we are left to do is to just update this object out here every time this request is made and everything will be working totally fine so all we just now have to do is that instead of returning a city we'll first have to call we'll first have to make another function which will first update the object or maybe just we can update the fun update the fun uh, object from here itself 